again. I'm in middle of nowhere, Wisconsin. Uh, because I'm going to DCI Finals again this year. Uh, it's Friday, so I'm actually going to stop in Chicago tonight and then head to Indianapolis tomorrow morning. Uh, yeah, should be fun. Looking forward to it. Cotton Candy Blizzard. So one of the reasons why I'm stopping in Chicago tonight um, is because, as some of you know, I have a lot of family in Chicago. My whole mom's side of the family uh, lives there. It's where my mom grew up. Um, and we're also very closely connected to the Midwest Buddhist Temple, which is located in Chicago. And um, every year they have a weekend-long festival that's called Ginza, and it's essentially just a big fundraiser for the church with live performances and good food and these like pop-up art shops. It's really it's a really fun thing that happens every year, um, and it usually. Uh, happens on the same weekend as DCI Finals. So it's, so it's going on, it's starting today on Friday. Uh, so I'm gonna go and check it out tonight. My parents are actually already down there and I'm meeting them there. And my parents are actually gonna be performing tonight. Uh, there's a Tycho group that's performing tonight and they're gonna be uh, special guest artists. So hopefully I can get there in time to check that out. All right, guys, I made it. Um, the drive wasn't too bad overall. I did hit some traffic the last hour or so as I got closer to the city, which made sense, uh, but not too bad. I'm here in the Old Town neighborhood of Chicago. It really is quite beautiful here. Um, so it's good to be back and uh, yeah, gonna go see my parents right now. <laughs> Hi. All right, I'm, I'm just interjecting here. I don't normally do this, but I legitimately think you guys are gonna wanna see what I'm about to show you. So just bear with me for a second. So you remember the Los Angeles lick? There is zero chance I could have pulled that off on my own. The guy behind the camera was Jens Erickson. He's a really good friend of mine. We grew up together in Eden Prairie and he does a lot of stuff right now with film and photography. A few years ago, he created an incredible, award-winning, really cool documentary called Redline Lounge, and it's finally available for the public to see. Here's the trailer. Drums have saved my life. Saved my life. I would either be dead or locked up if it wasn't for my drums. It's just bringing good music. I'll leave a link to the documentary in the description. You should absolutely go watch it. It's well worth your time. But finish this video first. Okay guys, good morning. Um, it's like 6.30 a.m. right now aka too early and uh i'm actually <laughs> i'm actually running behind I, I i don't know if i'm gonna be there for the beginning of rehearsal or not which is a little disappointing because that's when they do like the beeline stuff and i kind of wanted to be there for that but we'll see we'll see what happens depends on how traffic is so today what today's gonna look like is right now i'm driving to indiana wesleyan university for the Blue Coats finest rehearsal. Um, and then I'm actually gonna bail 
a little early from that to go to where the Boston Crusaders are rehearsing and to pick up Zach. Um, he needs a ride to his hotel room in Indy so he can take a shower before the show. Um, and because I'm a nice friend, I'm gonna go pick him up. Um, and then we'll probably hang out in Indy for a little bit, get some food or whatever. And then we'll go to Military Park where the warm-up lots are. Um, I'm for sure gonna watch Boston. Um, and I'm for sure gonna watch the Blue Coats. But, and then other than that, we'll just see what happens. All right, I made it to Indiana Wesleyan. I see the drum line over there, so I'm headed there right now. Hopefully I didn't miss B-Line. All right, I got with me the Jared Baltazar, center snare of the 2019 Blue Coats. Blue Coats in all caps. How you feeling, Jared? Feel great. Yeah, Final finals day. day. You guys sound good. All right, uh, I'm leaving their rehearsal right now. They're just wrapping up their final run through. They're sounding really, really good, as always. I'm about to go pick up Zach from Boston Crusaders rehearsal. It's about an hour drive from here, and it's like d directly on the way to Indianapolis from here, which, so that worked out nicely. This is so fun. Um, you know, I found myself on the drive here, on the long, really long drive here, I started to question whether or not this whole trip would be work worth it. Um, just, you know, for one weekend to drive this much all the way out here. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just that finals day energy and that's in the air. It's something you really only can experience on this day here in Indianapolis. And so I'm just happy to be here. And it's really great to see everybody too. Hello, Zach. Hello, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, we made it to Indianapolis. Um, Zach's just dropping some stuff off right now, and then we're gonna head to Military Park and see the, uh, all the drum lines warming up and all of our friends that are over there right now. Uh, it's gonna be fun, I'm really excited. All right, here we are, Military Park. Uh, the place where dreams come true. I wonder how many collective YouTube video views there are on oh, video, videos in this place. Even like the same person, but like two different views on yeah. different videos. Oh, man. It's gotta be a lot. Millions. Yeah. Welcome. You want to get Zach in the zoo? Wait. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, my God, it was. Dynamics. All right, watch out, everybody. Zach's running the Met. Back home in Minneapolis now. It was a long, exhausting drive home, but it was a super fun trip. 
It was great catching up with old friends and just watching some really, really good drumming. I didn't actually have a ticket to the show, so I basically just hung out in the lots and it was still super fun. I think we're in somewhat of a golden era of drum lines. Like so many lines this year were incredible. And as just somebody who's a drum core fan now, it's really fun for me to watch and experience. A huge congrats goes out to the Blue Devils for coming home with the gold medal. I know a lot of you probably wanted the Blue Coast to win. I obviously did too, but I'm a little biased. Uh, but you can't deny that the Blue Devils were incredible as usual. Thank you for watching. Sorry I haven't been uploading as much lately. I've just been really busy and these videos take a lot of time, but I have a lot of stuff planned, so subscribe or whatever. Uh, okay, that's it. Bye.